All right, so this one's for all of you who love taking photos with your phones. Have you ever noticed this HDR mode on your camera? Most of us have it, but how many of us actually know what it does? It's great in situations when there's a lot of contrast in lighting. For example, if the sky is really bright and the subject under the tree is really dark. With HDR mode on, your camera will take three photos, ranging from properly exposed for the bright parts to properly exposed for the darker parts. It then blends the images, giving you the one best properly exposed image. You can see the detail in the sky and I'm not so dark. See, this is what it looks like without HDR on. The picture looks so much better with the HDR mode on. So of course, HDR mode is not gonna work well with movement. So don't use it if you're taking photos of moving subjects. Have you ever wished that you could remove unwanted objects or people in a picture? Well, here's a really cool app you can try. It's called Touch Retouch. So say you wanna take a picture in front of a wall and there's kind of a really ugly light switch in the way. Well, this app helps you remove that. All you gotta do is highlight the part Parts that you don't want and it's gone see it looks cool right it's like magic or say you're taking a photo and some random photo bomber messes up your shot just remove her she kind of dissolves into thin air does cost a little bit of money but i think it's worth it now here's a really cool optical illusion trick that you can try that's really fun have your friends stand away from you and shoot from an angle where they look really tiny Super cute, right? You can make it beauty bitty. Now, any professional photographer will tell you that angles make a huge difference in making you look slimmer in photos. And they are absolutely right. So here are some of the best tips that I learned during a model. <laughs> so here are some of the best tips I've learned as a model. If you want to make your arms look slimmer, avoid pressing your arm against your body like this. Best thing to do is put your hand on your hip so that it looks a lot slimmer. Voila! So this is a very common trick of the trade. All the celebrities and models, they're all doing it. You can go check it out. But sometimes when you do that, it can look a little bit posy. So try and make it look natural, like it just kind of fell there. Try and avoid facing the camera straight on. Now, a lot of tourists out there, they do it and they kind of look like a bit Yay, I'm in Paris. Yay, I'm in China. You know, you can have fun with it. Angle it. Be fabulous. Angle your body 45 degrees and then that will help you look slimmer and sexy. And you see the before and the after. Wunderbar. Stick your chin forward and down to make your face look more angular. And that, I tell you, makes it look wonderful. It does feel a little awkward when you're doing it and it doesn't feel right, but in a photo, it looks better. Trust me. So this is the before, face look fatter, and this is the after, face look great. If you want to get a simple color filter for your photos, here's a really cool hack you can try. All you got to do is color a piece of scotch tape and stick it over your camera lens. Or you can place your finger over the flash for an instant red filter effect. Most people like to take pictures with their subject in the middle of the picture. But next time, try putting them to the side instead. And that way, it looks a lot more professional. It's called the rule of thirds, and this will make your pictures look way better. Place your subject on an intersecting line. Actually, both your camera and Instagram have this grid to help you. If you're taking a person, make sure the line is lined up with their eyes. Now we all know that tapping on the subject will adjust the focus and the exposure on it. But did you know that if you tap and hold, this will lock the focus and exposure? So this is great for situations like at concerts, for example, where you're trying to focus on the stage and everybody is walking in front of your camera. Unfortunately, this only works for the newer phone. So if you've got an older phone, sorry, it's time to update it. So we've come to the end of our episode. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos right when they come out before they hit YouTube.